Good morning. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Chante. Today we are going to read Do Not Take Your Dragon to Dinner. And it's by Julie Gassman. Oh, dragons look like they could be very, very messy. Do not take your dragon to dinner. It's a special occasion. It's time for a treat. Time to dress up and go out to eat. But carefully consider your dinner guest list. For my dear friend, I must simply insist. Uh oh, who's she bringing to dinner? Do not take your dragon to dinner. I row a rude guest like a dragon disrupts everyone. He barges right in. He spoils the fun. A wing in your face and a tail in your drink. And the worst of all, that distinct dragon stink. Ooh, he smells. So do not take your dragon to dinner. Oh, Grandma lost her teeth. <gasps> Waiting for food, she gets really bored. And when her behavior cannot be ignored, she grabs for your phone, she'll crawl on the floor, she'll stand on the table and let out a roar. What else will she do? She's picking her nose. Ooh. Do not take your dragon to dinner. You may believe that once food is in sight, your dragon will sit and be so polite. But he'll pick up his bowl and he'll drink it with a slurp. And then he'll let out a fiery burp. Do not take your dragon to dinner. Burp. Dragons are known for taking large bites. And when this food spills out, it's a terrible sight. She pounds on the table. She wants, she plays with her food. She picks at her fangs. She's very, very rude. Do so do not take your dragon to dinner. But your dragon is so special to me. Celebrate without him. It simply can't be. Be part of my family. Part of my heart. What can I do so you won't have to part? Oh, I love my dragon. Uh, my friend, I sense your frustration, but dinner at home could be a grand celebration. You could ask your dragon to help you with a meal. His flames can steer, steer, steer. Sheer, his claws can peel.
we could get the table but each dish in its place. He could light the candles with incredible grace. But it did her practice be polite. Sit still, you silverware. Try not to ignite. Ask him to use napkins instead of his wig. Remind him to ignore the food if it rings. Encourage him to close his mouth when he chews. And be sure he remembers his pleas and thank yous. Practice this often, your etiquette beginner. Big Book of Table Manners. We'll soon be taking you out to dinner. La Restaurant. But you'll have to teach him how to use his table manners. I hope you enjoyed it. Tune in tomorrow for a new one. Bye.